Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel, tech lead and partner at West Vault. And today I'm going to reply to a comment that I got on my channel. This comment is a lot more technical, a more, lot more in-depth. Uh, I did a poll with you guys recently and 54% of you guys said you wanted to see more advanced PSP Jiu-Jitsu on, on my channel rather than the beginner stuff. Okay, 54 and 46, not really conclusive. So I do not know what to do, okay? So we're gonna switch between the two, but I got this comment and wow, just check that comment out. That is a in-depth comment by a subscriber called Mao. I'm not gonna even attempt to pronounce your full name. But anyway, what really it struck me is Mao made one statement here and he said that PHP is not really async. It engaged in some magic called core routines and basically concurrent programming and i wanted to clarify this issue i see that it's a very well written comment very technically strong comment uh, including a framework that mao has actually built so well, let's talk about the first point down here which is not really async so uh, this is more of a definition async just means that things are happening at the same time. I did a video earlier talking about Ghost of Tsushima versus Uncharted and how events were happening and Ghost of Tsushima was async. Things were happening at any point of time while um, Uncharted was very linear. All async means is that things are happening at the same time. It doesn't say whether you use a certain technique or in peril. So in that respect, PHP using SWOL is a sync. You can have things occurring at the same time or they do not have to be a linear fashion one after another. Okay, so this is one defining point and that for PHP with SWOL is a sync. But point taken down here. Now, the second point that he makes is about how it was done okay and this is the point that i have to really dive deep on which is the technique of using a core routine and actually doing concurrency versus doing something in peril okay a cake right the, you don't actually have to be there watching stuff like for example if you put in your ingredients you're going to have to wait for the flour to set at that point of time while you're waiting you actually don't have to do anything you can't make the cake cook any faster but you cannot make, uh, you, you can't do anything while you're waiting for the yeast and the flour to rise. We call that slack. So what a core routine is, is that that small task of waiting for something to happen, that's a core routine. And what it's doing is that if something needs you to wait and you don't need any processing power, you can do something else, right? This is actually a very smart way of com computing because you're not engaged, you have extra time, you don't need two people actually to do this. Once this is, you're waiting for something, you start doing something else. And that is the technique that SWOL is using. <clears throat> that is the core routine with concurrency. So that the minute a certain task needs to wait, it's going to split over and do something. It doesn't actually pause the task. It's not being paused. We're just waiting for a response from that pause. So this is what we call concurrency. It is a very smart, lightweight technique. You can just switch between that and you are saving time because your critical path is getting shorter. You're actually doing things simultaneous. Now I did talk to, about the pros and cons of this technique. One of them was about me actually texting while driving and me texting while uh, sitting in the bus. So me sitting in the bus texting, no problem. We can do both of it together. Me texting while driving is a bad idea. Now the other technique is called in parallel computing, right? So that's where you go out and you actually hire two people to actually do your tasks. Now one problem is that, again, you're not actually shortening time span because one of them is waiting while the other one is actually doing something. If you actually write this out in a program, you'll probably find that the core routine almost lands as similar to the parallel, except that you needed two cores, two workers, and two everything. Now let's get a little bit more into the technical depth of that. 
So you would have heard something called a core, you would call heard something called a thread, uh, you would have heard something called a service worker. So a core is just basically a brain. Uh, if you have two brains, you can work in parallel. But what if you want to do four? What if it's a very small task? Then you would actually have to use a service worker. The other one is what is a thread? Thread is just basically a task. So if you remember my baking example about waiting for the flour to rise, that is a thread, right? So example of in peril where a certain task took two seconds uh, and if you have five workers, you would complete the thing in uh, two seconds instead of uh, five seconds. And that's all in good. That Usually when I see that, it's coming from somebody from a Java C background, more of an enterprise background, because your task doesn't have what we call interference. So if you can imagine I'm in a kitchen and I'm starting to use a certain bench top for, to um, wait for my yeast to dry and somebody else wants to use that, that's interference. Now, here's the point when it comes to PHP. This is all in good if you can control the thread safety of a certain uh, program. That means you're not clashing, you're not using the same database, you're not using resources that interfere with each other. This is not a big issue when it comes to what PHP is built for, which is the internet. The main use or main um, stalling process of PHP is actually running and waiting for APIs. This was just developed just short you know, about 10 years ago, a lot of API programming was around. When C and Java were done, you didn't get that much stuff. You could use a lot of parallel programming. You can cut a task out and go from the top into the bottom. APIs are a bit different. They're part of what we call scenario-based uh, responses. That's why you see this idea of uh, then called callback strategy, because you have to wait for stuff. And that actually lends itself better to concurrent. You can't actually fast forward that process. You have to wait for it to come back. But while you're doing that, you can do other tasks there. So PHP Swarm is actually built in this way, not using Parallel. Parallel has a tendency to not use resources very efficiently. And that's one of the points, because if you're doing something that can go concurrent, you should be able to switch it around, not have your task waiting there. It's not being paused. Okay, so that's one point. The final conclusion on this one that I also want to explain is the whole obsessiveness or focus on performance. What the performance is of Swole for internet applications, right? Where you're dealing with a lot of API, a lot of waiting for stuff to happen then you definitely the core routine is much more optimal, uses less resource, it's a lot smarter, right? So just a little bit of a background of how you can actually look at optimization. Most of you guys out there doing PHP, you don't really have to worry any about this stuff. This is really getting into the, 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 the grass, you know, the fine details of squeezing out optimization. You can probably get a lot more performance if you cache, if you write efficient code, if you let the database do the heavy lifting and not bother so much about uh, concurrency, if you ran with Swole, that would sufficiently get you that performance. And there's no end to the amount of performance stuff. We can move a lot of the stuff. Let's say if you have a lot of process and you have a complaint of process, move that into an API using another language, put it in C. Let PHP call that language and run that. They can stay in the background and have all the service workers doing stuff. There's no need to do and integrate it into the PHP language itself. You can do a lot of things. Okay, so that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.